you've heard, welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Today, we are here at Kaskarafa Town, ready to take on a whole another gym leader right over this way. In Victory Road, we have the Kaskarafa Gym. Challenging the Kaskarafa Gym is the water gym leader, Kofu. And as we can see more information right here, this water type user is a good fit for those with battle experience. He is the chef and owner of the Kofu Lounge, and his zeal for helping trainers grow has led him to craft a taxing gym test. So I'm definitely excited to check that out. I do also see a good bundle of Pokemon on our map over here. I don't know if they're actually over here, if they're in the desert or something, because sometimes it gets a little silly with those kind of things, but I'll take a quick ride around and see if I can't spot them because I would love to get some of those Pokemon because those are new ones for us, but I'm not really seeing them on this side, so I think they're maybe down that way or something, or maybe they're in the sky. I, I don't really know how it works because I, as I move around in the map, so do the Pokemon in a way that just doesn't make any sense, so we'll figure it out eventually. But for right now, let's go into Kaskarafa. We have been outside of it, of course, taking on Team Star for quite a while. Kaskarafa is, they call it Kaskarafa the City of Water. I'm sure you can see why. Uh, oh yeah, you can see the big waterfall over there. That's cool. So I'll just have to take a good look around, but there's like a sandstorm rolling in. Oh, you know how tourists are. Noisy here, isn't it? I don't think the noise is because the tourists think it's because of the sandstorm. The restaurants. The restaurants here are supposed to be really good. I hear it's because most of them use fresh ingredients brought in from Porto Marinata. Cool. So I don't know which, you know, things we might need at the moment, but we did check out picnicking in the last episode. The Go for Broke Grill. Ooh, so this is where we could do things like uh, get Pala de Paldia, or Paldea, which has like egg power, item drop power, we have fruit punch. I'm just looking to see, we got raid power, experience point power for psychic, experience point power for rocks, nothing too much that I would need, but getting extra experiences, experience points for some of our Pokemon would be super duper helpful right about now. But there is even more to uh, Kaskarafa down this way. Oh, this is an elevator? It is. So I just wanted to take a look around this whole area before we took on the gym leader, or at least tried to start it. Because you never know what we might, we might find. Because it looks like there's a whole desert out here. This is crazy. All right then. So, I'm beat. Sure does take take a lot of walking to get around here. What is this? Okay, I think this is uh, some kind of ingredients place. Maybe I should try, should buy something for my Pokemon before heading home. Why don't Pokemon like to eat the same things I like to eat? I don't get it. I mean, everybody has their own tastes. I like foods that lots of people don't like and vice versa. Uh, hola, for fresh produce, look no further than Delicioso, Cioso, I think. Uh, would you like? Sure, I'd like to buy. So there's a lot of things here. I wanna make sure I have a couple of like each ingredient, I think. So let's just make sure we have like 10 of each. I think that's a good price, right? My stack up to be a little expensive after all, so maybe five of each. So the potato salad, we can get five of that. Looks good. Cause these can all make different sandwiches and meals that we could end up using to boost our Pokemon quite a lot. So some chorizo, very nice. And then we have bacon. We'll get five of those. And then we already had potato tortilla. So let's try some, we have prosciutto. Cucumber, definitely get some cucumbers. Gotta have some greens to go with our meats. So you gotta have the varied diet, right? There you go. Is there anything else I can help you with? I don't think so. We do need to sell some stuff at the shop scene, I think, to make some extra money. But there's a Pokeball right here we can grab. This will be an energy root times three, which I think restore the health of our Pokemon by a good chunk too. And there's also another um, Terra battle out there. Oh, what is this? What was that? I, s I saw a tiny little Pokemon holding a coin. When I got close, it dropped the coin and ran. What even was that thing? Well, it should have been the, uh, what's it called? The, um, I'm forgetting the name of it right now. The Gimme Ghoul. Welcome Nelly Bird presents, we've got great gifts galore. What it'll be. So we can buy different things, like battle items, like a magnet. Ooh, this is so important. So what these are, these are held items for Pokemon. We can give these to certain Pokemons and they will boost the power of certain types. So like this Hearthstone can boost, boost the power of the holder's rock type moves. So we wanna find stuff that sort of corresponds well, like we have the magnet, that'll be great for Palma. Go ahead and buy that for, for, for 3,000. But as you can see, some stuff gets pretty expensive. So we'll have to be very careful with spending our money. Um, but normal type move, but only once. This gem is imbued with the essence of normal C and will boost the power of a normal type move, but only once. These are a lot more expensive. And I'm gonna be held by a Pokemon. The holder's HP is slowly but steadily restored throughout a battle. So some of these we can find on our own adventures. Some of these we might just have to buy, but I'm glad I got the magnet. I'll definitely put that on Palmo. 
But we also have general goods here too. Things like the Everstone, which will prevent a Pokemon from evolving, but I already have one of those. I don't really need them either because I would like my Pokemon to evolve. Uh, and this will make a Pokemon friendly, interesting. We have things like the Power Weight, an item to be held by a Pokemon. Holding this weight reduces a Pokemon's speed in battle, but allows its HP stat to grow more quickly. These are neat, I haven't seen these in other Pokemon games. So if you're really into the individual stats for a Pokemon, these can be great to sort of maximize, but I don't know if I would really do a good job with this. What about the Power Lens? Reduces this Pokemon speed in battle, but allows a special attack to grow. Why is this one sort of facing a different angle than these two? <laughs> or the, this group of them, really? Okay, so besides that they have Pokeballs we can buy and Rotom phone cases, so we could buy just more of the same Pokeballs. Hopefully we'll get more options soon. Of course, I'm always looking for Quick Balls or some of my favorite. But the Rotom phone cases, what do we have? The Grass case, Water case, Fire case, a whole bunch of different typings. That's cool. I think out of all of them, there's so many options here. But we also have just like Kamala Log Case. So some of them that might not have anything to do with specific typings, like the Gathita Ribbon Case. These are all really cool. Um, Out of all of them, if I had to buy one right now, I think I'll go, where was it? The Dark Case looks really cool. I think I might end up going with that one. Or we could do normal. I like the the black and white sort of gray color scheme, of course. Matt matches with me pretty well, so we'll go normal for now. The normal case on our phone right away. Sounds good. So there's plenty of things like this to buy at some point or another that hopefully we can make the most of. I haven't seen a proper clothing shop. I just must have missed it, so I'll look around for that a little bit more too in the future. But for right now, we're good. We can head out of here and just keep exploring more of Cascarafa. Such a cool place down. I'll definitely have to explore more of the desert soon enough. But I think we'll hop on to our Rhydon to just sort of get an extra speed through. And ooh, been having some nice battles. So what area is this guy covering? Hello there, I'm a Pokemon League rep. Been having some nice battles. So far you've defeated zero trainers in the Asado Desert. Out that way, gotcha. Once you've defeated five trainers, you'll get a lovely prize. So we'll explore some more of that at some point. Just not now. But I do see a Pokeball waiting for us right over here. Uh, or they saying, let's wash him. Let's give both our Cyclozars a nice wash to clean off all that sand. Okay. Good thing we had our Cyclozar get to get us across the Asada Desert. So I'm sure we'll have to cross that desert at some point, but not now. In the meantime though, we do got other things like down that way. How do I get to that? And it looks like this is some kind of battle area too. That's cool. I actually, do I just jump? Oh, I just jump. Okay, I was overcomplicating it. I forget this thing can jump. Potion times three is a really great little boost to have there. And this looks like it's another coffee shop. These are all food stores, which are great, but I want some clothing stuff. We can customize our character. Oh, this is a shoe store. Here we go. Welcome to Zapaldia Food Footwear. Um, feel free to browse our wares. So, do I get to look at these before I buy them? Uh. Good question, I guess not. Um, it, it's sort of a gamble on if you're gonna get what you want. <laughs> That's sort of weird. I feel like it should be showing it to me right now, but it's not, so what do we want? Uh, just off the names of them, I think I probably just want, what if we got engineer boots? Oh, here we go. I don't know if I like those so much anymore. <laughs> um, there was engineer boots, we got dress shoes. I mean, they look fine, but. I don't know if there's anything I really want. Sporty sandals. Those look cool. I mean, obviously there was socks, so that's maybe not the best combo. But we'll do it. Just to be silly, we'll put on our sporty sandals. I don't know where we change our outfits at, but we'll just have to, you know, try to get more clothes as we go along. But that'll be everything for today. Yeah, cool that we found a footwear store. And I guess this is where we could go back up. Right? Yeah, okay, it's gonna lower for us. So just bring us right back up there. That's great. We gotta wait for it to come all the way down. Now we have to slowly walk on it. Interesting. So what other things do we have up here? Uh, this is another general goods store, it seems. Which I don't think it'll be all that much different than the one we've already seen, so I think we're about wrapped up here. I don't see anything else that might be new, but this is a gift store, right? Can I go inside? I can't go inside that one. See, not all the stores can be easily accessed, or just access in general. So we'll go up this one now. And I think this should get us closer to the actual gym. What about these buildings? What is on there? That seems neat. 
This is not like a tall building, but there's very cool Pokemon on the front. Can I go inside? Welcome to Sur Seguro Style. What are you on the hunt for today? I'm down for anything, really. Uh, we have, ooh, we got like, gloves here too, okay. Um, I will, yeah, I wanna see the character with them. That does look cool. I think I'll take this. Doesn't fit with our current outfit super well, but is it just fingerless gloves of different colors? I think so. So, what about the hats? We have the Low Kicks helmet. Whoa! <laughs> Looks like a Power Rangers kind of deal. That is the Low Kicks helmet. We have there's a bunch of those full face helmet here too. That's cool. Hmm. And is that everything? I think so. I don't know if I really need a helmet on the cool helmet. There's more helmets and stuff. So I, I, I wanna take a look at this one. That is interesting, I like it. And if we keep going down, retro white helmet. That's cool too. It's like the full face one, but just without the covering. The off-road helmet. Lots of helmets and stuff. Wasn't expecting that too much. Uh. Go all the way down now. Another off-road helmet, but it's from a different brand. Interesting, has sort of like a glittery effect. The cycling helmet too. Do they sell anything besides helmets? I don't think so. We'll just keep looking to be sure of that. So all the cycling helmets, and that's it. Okay, pattern three. I wish I could just see them without having to uh, click them individually, but I don't think we want a helmet. I would rather have like a hat or something. But hey, we got some cool gloves for now. We'll keep adding to our outfit as we find more crazy stores like that. That's just a sandwich shop. But right over here is what we've been waiting for, the Cascarafa Gym with the water trainer inside. We've arrived at our destination, perfect. Vault in Veluza, I'm late, I'm late. Oh, there you are, goodbye. They're in a rush. Ah, uh, Kofu, wait. Ah, he got away. How am I supposed to return this to him now? Oh hey, you're here as a gym challenger, right? Yep. I knew it, of course you are. That big man just left, that just left is Kofu, leader of the Kas Kaskarafa gym. He has a bit of a childlike side to him, and today he's run off to the market without his wallet. He'll be in big trouble without it. That's where you come in, kind gym challenger. Could you please take Kofu's wallet to him? Sure. Oh, you're too kind. I'd give you a gym badge right now if I could. Here's his wallet, I'm counting on you. You retained Kofu's wallet. We put that in our key items pocket. A wallet that was left behind by Kofu, the gym leader of the Kaskarafa gym. You're to deliver it to him at the market in Porto Marinata. This can be your gym test here. If you do this for me, you pass. Kofu's headed to the Porto Marinata. It's on the other side of the desert to the west. We can cross the entire desert? Be careful though, there are many dangerous Pokemon in the desert. Interesting, wasn't expecting that. Okay, we'll definitely have to go for it then. So head to Port Marinata. We definitely wanna add this to our, our map, but I think it's way over there. Hold on, hold on, go back. This is it, right? The Titan, no, that's the Titan badge. Over here, wow, okay, so find Jim Leader Kofu and deliver his forgotten wallet to him in Porto Marinata. Let's set this as our destination, and I guess we'll get going. Gonna be quite the adventure today, then. That'll be great, so can we go down from here? We can. Gotta wait for it to go all the way up, and we take it all the way back down. But this will be cool, like, to explore this desert a little bit and see what it has in store for us. I'm guessing a lot of, like, ground and rock type, right? And maybe there'll be a, a fun variety. This is a cool little area we haven't been to too much, though. Lots of people walking around and enjoying the city. That's what you like to see. Whoa, what Pokemon is that? The elevator sure sure do help. I heard that before they installed the elevator, so you had to you ride cycles are up and down these cliffs to reach the different top tiers. Sounds rough. You are so cool. It's a, just a dolphin Pokemon. I definitely want to find that one. So adorable, too. So maybe that's something we can consider finding at some point, adding to our team. But for right now, we are lowering ourselves back down to the center area. I did see a Pokeball to the left there. So we'll just try to, you know, find what we can as we are going through the desert. So let's grab this right here. Freshwater times three. What did they say? You wanna head up to the upper tiers? Just wait in front of the elevator here for a moment. And there's another one. I need to find whatever I can. 
this is two super potions. So exploring is really saving us some money because I, I definitely make the most of these. So if we defeat a number of trainers out here in the desert, we'll be able to get another reward from them too. Poor Marinata. Porto Marinata is across this desert. Make sure you're prepared for the trip if you plan to go. Okay, so you can already just see gym leaders are standing out here in the Asado Desert. This is intense. Oh my goodness. So let's go for you first. Two whole decades. I've got 20 years of studies at the academy under my belt. Oh wow, so very well studied uh, battle here. This is Lewis the student. I see lots of Pokemon we can catch up with this, but first we're gonna send out Basculin, which we can handle no problem with our Foragato. Grass type moves, of course, really do quite a lot of damage to water types, and especially with the two level lead on them, we're gonna be in a pretty good position here just to one shot this thing. And Basculin thinks. So, already off to a great start for battling in today's episode. That's what you like to see. Pretty close to some level ups here. We get level 23 for Floragato and a few for the others. Um, they want to learn Bite. We have so many Pokemon that know Bite now. So who's this for? This is for Palmo. I don't think we need it. Um, okay, they're gonna sell Ponyard. Ponyard is the Steel type, right? Let's let's get a uh, Flesh Ender out here. Hope I'm not getting this mixed up, but I guess we'll find out in a moment because we just fought this in the last episode. I'm pretty sure. Guess we're gonna see. Here comes Ponyard. Nice, I was right. Okay, so battle. We'll just do the flame charge, which is super effective. And it's almost a one hit takedown. And our speed rose. They'll use scary face, which I don't think does any damage. It doesn't. That's good. So let's flame charge again. Oh, they're gonna use Fury Cutter, even with our speed being risen? Huh. All right, well, there we go. And I think that's gonna be this trainer defeated. All right, there we go. You defeated Lewis the student. I'm not so happy about it. 20 years for this. I'm so sorry. Well, maybe it just needs you to study another 20 years. I was so short on credits, I had to take a 20th year. Maybe it's time I graduated. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. All right then, so let's go ahead and switch things out because I think these are ground type Pokemon up here. So if we can uh, change our positions, the weasels up in front, I think that'd be great. So it will go for you first. See a tiny little Pokemon running out around there. Can't really tell what it is at the moment, but for right now, we're going against Silicobra. So let's just try a Water Pulse and see if this will be a one-hit takedown. I don't think it would, but I think it'll be super effective. Perfect. So with that, it's even confused. That's good. It might be able to attack here still. We'll see. Brutal Swing. Doesn't do too much, but this is a great opportunity to throw one of our Pokeballs and catch a Silly Cobra. And I'm seeing even more new Pokemon in the distance. We're gonna be making ourselves quite busy finding all these, but Silly Cobra was caught. So that's the first one we'll add to our Pokedex for today's episode. Lots of experience rolling in and Pokedex entry for Silicobra number 270, the Sand Snake Pokemon, a ground type. Silicobra's large nostrils are specialized for spraying sand, so this Pokemon is not very good at telling apart different smells. Huh, good to know. Apparently it's seven feet long. It doesn't look that long at all, but I guess so. Obviously it's all coiled up and stuff, but even then, that does not look longer than we are, and we're definitely not seven feet. Interesting. Uh, what happened to that little one that was walking around? What is this? Capsicid, we already have Capsicid, so don't have to worry about that too much. I think it might be a great opportunity, though, to go for you, just like that. Oh, and look at that big elephant in the background. We'll have to catch that for sure, but for right now, we have Larvesta. Let's try Water Pulse, but this might be a bug type. It is, but that's still super effective. Not enough for it to get into the yellow just yet, so. I'm a little worried, but maybe we'll just hit it with a, another move just to lower it a bit more. Our vest is confused. Will it hurt itself in confusion? Nope, it'll use Flame Wheel, which won't do too much damage. Not very effective. Okay, so here's our chance here. With the Sandstorm hitting us, not so good. But I hit them too. So let's actually, let me just try to throw a Pokeball here and see what I got. Because it's halfway down, it's confused. I think that counts as a status effect. Come on. Nah, not quite. I think we'll just keep at it, though. 
especially if it might hurt itself in confusion. I don't wanna risk too much. Oh, there it goes. Zap that's what I was worried about. So we're both gonna get hurt by the sandstorm here a little bit. That's a cool view though. All right then, so this is our chance to catch it for sure. But we're sort of working against the clock here because it could just get defeated by the sandstorm. We're not careful. Come on, it popped out of that, no problem. Oh my goodness. And it snapped out of its confusion too, so it's seeking these flame mill against this one more time. I'm a little bit worried about the sandstorm now. Will that defeat Buse Weasel? No, it won't. Okay, so we'll definitely have to use a potion or two after this, but I might just throw a great ball just to get this thing caught because at this point, it is just too much of a risk. Come on, come on. You better not jump out of this one. Are you kidding me? This thing is stubborn. Struggle bugs coming in. That's definitely gonna defeat Weasel. So I think at this point, I switch over to, um, what is it? It's so close. We're gonna switch over to Palmo. If I need to, I can paralyze it, but at this point, it's too low on health, you know? It's gonna be too much of a risk. So, just throw out another Great Ball. I can't believe how tough Larvesta is being, but it is level 24, so it is a higher level Pokemon to catch than we're used to. Come on. No way, I thought we had it. He's bug fight against us. Not very effective. Here comes that Sandstorm again. Is this gonna defeat it? Almost, it is so close. So this is our chance, please work. There's just no way. I don't understand why this one is so incredibly tough. It needs another bug fight. We're gonna have to go back and heal our Pokemon up at this point. A little frustrating, but we won't even get the Pokemon because it's about to be defeated. No way, it's still in here. Come on, this is our last chance for real. There's no way with the tiniest little sliver of health that you're jumping out of this, right? This is the toughest Pokemon of all time. All right, uh, there goes Palmo, getting really low. What a ridiculous situation now, you know? Uh, it's ending for Larvesta. And they fainted. That was the silliest thing I've ever darn seen, but we're gonna go back really quickly and heal our team up, because our Revesta did such a number on us. Okay, we're back at it, and I see a Pokeball over this way I wanna grab really quickly. So, we got the Water Terra Shard on our occasions. These shards from, I wanna read that one, hold on. I don't know why it gives you two seconds to read it. At that point, you just don't even give me any time, but uh, what button do I need to press to see it? Our bag is right here. So. Where would that have gone? I, I definitely want to see whatever that was, because I've never seen that before. Uh, down here. These shards from form when a Terra Pokemon falls in battle and its Terra Jewel shatters. Interesting. Okay. And I do see some new Pokemon up here that we've yet to catch. Let's go for this one. This is, of course, a... Rufflet, so we'll definitely be able to catch Rufflet, right? We'll use Icy one to start with, because that should be super effective. I'm sure Icy against flying. It is, so that's a great start already. Their speed falls, and they'll try Tailwind against us. Behind the opposing team. Interesting, I don't know exactly what that does, but maybe it just gives them a, their own buff, in a way. So we should be able to throw out one more Icy Wind and start tossing the Pokeballs. Oh, that was too effective. Okay, never mind. because it was a critical. Unfortunate, but that just means we get to take on another Rufflet. We do get some good experience from that. Enough for Weasel to get the level 23, which is what we want. So we'll take on one of these then. And see if this is any better. So, battle, icy wind, give it a go. That's pretty good. We're gonna get buffeted by the sandstorm here in a moment, but if I could just hit another one of those, and then just you know, throw a Pokeball, that's all we need. Okay, that's pretty good. It's not a critical, so they're still kicking. Their speed is lower. Um, we can use that wing attack against Squeezel, which is pretty damaging, but I might just, yeah, let's not risk it. Let's just throw a Great Ball. Let's see if we catch this Rufflet. I sure hope so. And we got it. Okay, a lot better than Larvesta. Jeez, all right. So this one gives some more easy experience. Two more level ups, actually. So that's good to see. And Fido wants to learn to work the move Workup. 
So, that's over here. The user is roused, and his attack and special attacks are boosted. What does Fida think? What am I skipping learning workout? Okay, I agree. We'll skip that one. Um, acrobatics. And who's this for? This is for Fletchinder, a flying type move. The user nimbly strikes the target. This attack does massive damage if the user isn't holding an item. Well, they aren't currently holding an item, so maybe that'd be better than quick attack. Are we really gonna be using quick attack? I don't think so. So, I'll take this one, and Fletchinder forgot quick attack and learned acrobatics instead. Cool. So, with that done, we get Rufflet, number 365, the Eaglet Pokemon, a normal flying type. With its sharp claws, this Pokemon pierces its prey and then it packs at them. Although it also consumes berries, it's a carnivore at heart. All right, very cool. Glad to catch a Rufflet. And there it is in our little collection. So what do we have around here that we might not have caught yet? These are all Pokemon we have, so not gonna worry about it, but we do get ourselves a Sunstone, which can help a certain Pokemon evolve, and a Soft Sand that is going to boost the power for ground type moves. We're finding so much cool stuff, and a potion. There's also some Terra Ray battles here. Is this gonna be for water type? I mean, I think so, it's blue, so maybe I should try this? I don't know if this is something I should you know, worry about later, but let's change the position for Foragata like that. Then we go with our uh, thing here and heal them. Let's see, uh, restore health. We'll just use normal potions for now. If I use three of those, I think it'll be enough. Got it. Yep, they're looking good, only one HP less. Let's try this out then. You know, the, the more I can do these, the better, but it looks like it's gonna be some kind of water type, but it says dragon on the top, right? so maybe not. I don't know, defeat the terror Pokemon within the time limit. Do I have anything that's strong against dragon types? So this actually might be where it's good to have Bleasel, because I, I believe that ice is strong against dragon, right? So we'll change your Pokemon like that and just challenge alone. So hopefully we can do some good numbers to whatever this mystery Pokemon is. I'm looking forward to it for sure, so hopefully it goes well. All right, here we go again, another terror raid battle. I'll be trying to do these as often as I can, but this time, whoa, what was that? All our Pokemon are ready. I'm not sure what that is. Sandow's gonna intimidate it. It is a Shroodle. So use that super effective icy wind against the Shroodle. Oh, it's cute, I like it. I think that we saw something else with the Shroodle, right? Maybe, Oh, that did some good damage too, super effective. The speed is gonna fall, they're already halfway down. What is that? We are celebrating. Weasel's special attack has risen. Blizzle became confused. So that's maybe not the best, but let's just try another icy wind against them because they're already super low on health. It's just a matter of if this confusion is gonna stop us. Come on, come on. We use icy wind. So that might be Shrudel taken down already. It looks like it. Super effective. That's what we wanna see. So we'll be able to throw our Pokeball here in just a moment, but oh man. Okay, here's our chance. Catch that Shrudel. We use a great ball. Maybe I should've used a normal Pokeball because I don't know if they can even break out of this, but either way, so cool. So of course we did one of these just a few episodes ago. This is our second Terror Raid and it went really well. These definitely will probably get more difficult later on. If it's anything like the Dynamax battles that we had, the Dynamax raids, those got really challenging after a while. But we get ourselves a Shrudel, a one star, Terra, Pokemon, and with it we get a bunch of experience and some other held items. Pretty good stuff. So we've returned to the desert and we got number 202, Shrudel, the toxic mouse Pokemon, a poison normal type. To keep enemies away from its territory, it paints markings around its nest using a poisonous liquid that has an acrid odor. Uh, no nickname for Shrudel, but very tempting to get a poison type on our team. I will consider it for later. For right now though, into our Pokedex. So what else is around here then? Not too much in this you know, exact direction, but we can grab a Pokeball, we can look for more trainers, because we've already beaten you. Oh, and you're, you guys are new. Um, we got a Max Potion, for restoring a Pokemon all the way up to full, but you are new too. Let's try this out. This is a Grass type versus Grass type. It's Cacturn, it's level 35. You know what? I'm not ready for a level 35 Pokemon. I can't get away, of course. That means it's gonna beat us up. But it failed, okay. I need to run from this one. It's just way too high of a level for us to handle. So we got away safely. So we just might run into situations like that, huh? Ooh, what about you? 
Uh, let's grab this Pokeball. That is a Bullet Seed. Cool, that could actually be worth considering. For right now though, let's check out what level you are. If you're gonna be around the same, I might just back out of this. Level 35, so what, what's with the jump and level so harshly? You know what I mean? Especially since this is what the game said I should be going and doing. So I, I could try to catch him, but it'd be a lot of work. Whoa, what are you? I've not seen this Pokemon. This seems cool. I hope I can catch this one at the least. It might be level 35, but it's so cool looking. I might just try anyways. Espartha is almost level 40. I just don't think we could do a number on that without it just being such a risk. So, oh, we couldn't get away again. Using agility on us, it's gonna up its stats sharply, up its speed. Let's try again, there you go. So I wonder, is this really what I should be doing right now? The game tells me it is, but do I trust the game or is the game being goofy? You know what I mean? Look at the Stardust. There's a lot of stuff on the ground around here though. The Ultra Ball, that's cool. Yeah, we're finding some cool stuff here. Star Piece, um, sold at a high price at shops. Uh, and I got a Cacnea Needle to be used to make TMs. So I'll definitely have to come back here later. Now I'm worried about the trainers too. Maybe I should save really quickly. Just make sure we're saved up before we take on any other trainers like this. How about it? What's that? Oh my gosh, oh, that one almost got me. How about a nice Pokemon battle? I've got some spare time and I'd like to do something fun. I would love to, but please don't totally destroy me. This is Raquel the student. I'm getting a lot of students. Makes sense, the academy's a pretty big deal around here. They're sending out Shellos to start with, which I think is a water ground. Which if that's the case, um, we should be fine. It's level 26, so yeah, it's weird that there's such high level Pokemon here considering the trainers and stuff. Like the game thinks that we should be at this level. Either way, we get Body Slam there, which does hurt. Okay, for a second, I thought that Pokemon was attacking too. We get paralyzed from that, which is not so good. But another Seed Bob coming in. The paralyzed it didn't really uh, stop us too much. So there's Shellos fainted. What will they have next? Lots of experience coming in. So Viper, I think that's a poison type. If that's the case, I think we want something like Oinkalone's Dig. Might be useful. We'll see, we'll see. All right, here comes Oinkalone. And they're sending us the Viper. Whoa, okay, so definitely poison. Let's try digging. Venoshock right away though, definitely does some good damage. We'll dig underground. The Venoshock's gonna miss because there's no Pokemon there, what do you know? And that did do a good number, it's super effective, but I don't know if it's enough. Can we dig again? Ah, oh, not without getting Venoshocked. Oh, we are in some dangerous spots here. Come on, can we land a critical or something cool like that? That'd be amazing. I don't think it's gonna work, but I might just switch out Pokemon between this next turn. There we go, super effective. It's so low, but I just know we're gonna get taken out if we do this again. So let's switch over to like Fido. Should be fine. Okay, so here's Fido. If we just do one tiny little bit of damage with whatever we have, it'll be great. So Venoshock's coming in. Oh my gosh, it's super effective. So that was a bad choice. But Fido toughed it up so we wouldn't feel sad. That's good to see. Let's just try a bite. But they get to attack twice! Ah, oh, you're kidding me, get out of here with that. So that didn't really work out at all. I'm sorry, Fido. I'm going to switch over to Palmo, I think for now. And we'll just, it, it's just, we just need any amount of damage to finish you off. There we go, so Viper fainted. And there we go, more experience for everybody. Florigato wants to learn to move U-turn. Interesting, I haven't heard of this one. So let's take a quick look at this. Florigato, I mean, U-turn is a bug type move. After making its attack, the user rushes back to switch places with a party member in waiting. What do they, do they think? Florigato wants to learn, forget the move Magical Leaf. I mean, Magical Leaf seems pretty good, but I guess we do have Seed Bomb. Sure, let's try it. If it doesn't work out, we can always relearn the previous move. You can do that pretty easily in this game, I think. And we do have TMs I wanna use on some of these Pokemon soon anyways. Like we just got Bullet Seed. Um, Knackle Stack? I don't know what this is. Um, so we'll just keep with Palmo. 
Uh, what is that thing? Let's try arm thrust. That was super effective, so we can keep on throwing out a couple of these. I think it sounds super effective. It's like a, a Minecraft Pokemon. Uh, okay, I'm very confused by this thing. What is it supposed to be? It's just a, a stack of blocks. All right, we're doing some more damage to it though. It's, it's about halfway down. Ooh, just a little bit more. That's all we need. Go for another one. One more, can you do one more? Ah, oh, you can't. Four times is still pretty good. We'll go for another one. Rock polish is coming in, but that's just gonna raise their speed. Here comes more arm thrust, and we defeated you. Super effective, all we needed to see. So I think that's all of your Pokemon defeated, right? Pokemon was hit one time, yeah we know, and they fainted. And with that, we defeated Raquel the student. Awesome. Ah, that was fun. I agree, we got a lot of prize money too. So let's talk to you one more time. Some moves look cool, some moves hit hard. But my favorites are the ones that are just plain fun. I'm glad you're having fun. Okay, so before we do too much, hey, I was in the middle of something. This one is just raring for a fight, but I really can't give it to you. Um, you are so much higher level than us right now. It's just crazy that these kind of Pokemon are just running around this area, but we are going to, before doing anything more, I want to restore your health, give you a super potion, and then revive Fido. Nope, wrong one. That one. Revive you, maybe use a uh, potion on you of some sort. We'll just do a normal potion to get you up to 47. That's good enough. I don't want it to be, it needs to be like entirely full health, but. We're getting somewhere, right? There is another one of these terror battles. Now I'm worried about it. What if we're not strong enough, you know? Uh, but we got Soft Sin there. I can also pick up a Pokeball waiting for us right over here. Another Revive, which is great because we just used one. So let's check this out. Is that a Tumbleweed Pokemon over here? Look at this guy. We got a Rotom calling now. Wait, it's gone. Where'd it go? Hey, Zebra, it's Arvid. Apparently, this desert is home to the Quaking Earth Titan. Speaking of which, the ground's been shaking off and on and ugh, it's making me feel a bit sick. Sorry, I'm just gonna sit down and rest a little before I get back to Titan hunting. I wanna help them soon, but the game tells me it's not really the best time for it. What is that thing? It's level 25, so I guess this is also a good way to check the level. <laughs> it's just a little tumbleweed with eyes, the Bramblin. I love Bramblin, we're still paralyzed here, so maybe I'll just use U-turn and we'll put this to work. They couldn't move, we couldn't move because we were paralyzed, so let's try this again shall we? Uh, you turn, please work this time. They can use bullet seed on us, which obviously doesn't do too much. Uh, but they can do it a couple of times. Not very effective, hit twice. Let's go with our, ah, oh, come on. That is silly. So we're just gonna maybe wanna switch out here. There's another ramp one rolling by though. Uh, what would be good against this grass type Pokemon? It's gonna be Flitchinger's fire ability. So we need to lower them enough that we can still try to catch them. That's the big idea here. So far, I really am missing from Pokemon Legends Arceus the ability just to throw a Pokeball and try to catch it without even having to battle it. That was such a cool element to me that we can just even do something like that. But um, not really the case with this one. So, that's not very effective, but what we'll do is we will hit them with Ember. I don't wanna hit them with the other one because I'm worried it'll be too much damage. That was really good though. So I might just wanna throw out a Pokeball here. Infestation, oh my goodness. What's an infestation from the wild Bramblin? That was ridiculous. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and just throw, we have an Ultra Ball now, but I'm just gonna throw, I guess, a Healing Ball. That's not what I meant to throw it. Come on, go, go, go. Will this be a catch? I hope it is. It is! Awesome, we call Bramblin. That's what we like to see. So, a whole bunch of experience rolling in there. We're level 23 for Fletchland, level 24 for Buizel. Buizel wants to learn to move Aqua Jet. Well, I definitely think you should. So, take a look at Aqua Jet. The user lunges at the target to inflict damage, moving at blinding speed. This move always goes first. That'd probably be better than Swift. So there we go. One, two, and ta-da. We forgot Swift and learned Aqua Jet instead. And 
We should just be good to move forward with our Pokedex entry. Number 242, Bramblin. A uh, tumbleweed Pokemon, a grass ghost type. Not even a Bramblin knows where it is headed as it tumbles across the wilderness. Blown by the wind, it loathes getting wet. Okay, so that's very cool. I'm excited to see what that might evolve into. Very neat Pokemon. That's 242, Bramblin. So let's grab, there's two items right here. Stardust and Potion. I need to maybe, I won Flitchinder. So now I was at the right spot, but we are slowly making our way over to where we need to be. I think, was well, that, that wasn't it. I keep seeing that and thinking it's, it's, it's this over here. Crazy, the things we have to survive to get there. But what I want to do for now is this terror raid. Um, let's restore some stuff for you. I need to do uh, the revive, the paralyze you. I only have one of them. Let's make the most of that. Forgato's been healed from it. Um, and then just making sure that you're healed up. We switch over to Fletchinder and do the same thing. Wrong thing. Uh, Right there. Potion, gotcha. So now everybody should be nice and beefed up. We're ready to take on this thing, which I think, like I said before, uh, Fletchinder's the best one for it. Wait, no, it's not. Well, it's Grass Teros, Terastalized, Terastalized, or Rock Rough. Does that mean that like a fire type would be good? I really don't know. Oh, I clicked, the, that's not what I meant to do anyways. Now we might be in trouble. <laughs> Because I did the wrong one. It's okay. It's okay. We'll just use our bite over and over, and we'll see where that gets. It won't be good, but it won't be bad. I mean, if it is still holding the rock typing, then then it would be. But like, I meant to switch over to Fletchinder. I just chose the wrong button. Okay, Forogato. I think we'll be able to get this one anyways. But hey, I mean, we called a rock rough before. Want to be a bad deal to find another one now. So it's battle, yeah, not very effective, but this U-turn is super effective, so that's cool. Oh, oh my gosh! And what's cool about this, I can't switch out Pokemon, so I just get to use that. That was wild! All right then, so we'll do it again. We get the opportunity to, we won't even. Look at how quickly we defeated that thing. That was something else, wasn't it? It's looking a little wobbly. This is where we go for that catch, using a normal Pokeball. Come on, we got it. So with that done, oh man. Pretty crazy, isn't it? That's two Terror Raid battles done in today's episode. If we run into more, I'll try to tackle those too, but we get Rock Ruff a one star with some experience candy, other health stuff. I'll use the candy later on when um, I'm more determined to keep the team I have. Um, for now though, it, it's definitely not bad. There's a couple of Pokemon I have on my team that I'm definitely keeping, obviously our starter, um, and most of them I feel like at this point, but there might be one or two I'll switch around as we get farther. It's just really about deciding when I get there. But number 89, Rock Ruff, we've already read about this, so. We don't need to do anything here, but very cool that we have Rock Ruff with a grass type thing. Okay, that's where we came from. We're going the wrong way if I do that, but we got soft sand and I'm back to here. So let's see what else we can find around here. Is that gonna be another one, I think? Probably. Uh, we got a potion. I'm just sort of looking off into the distance to see if we find any other cool stuff. I know we found some Pokemon along the way, but potion. Nest ball, of course it's good against a lower level wild Pokemon. I didn't even mean to run into you. I was looking off in the distance. I've already caught you, so I'm not super interested in this flittle. Maybe I could just fight you and get rid of you quickly. Yeah, we got a super effective. How much, that does 70, this is 60. Okay, let's try U-turn really quickly. We can use quick attack against this. I wanna tr try going against that beetle off that way. There we go. Get rid of flittle, no problem. And that's more experience for everybody, you. You are what I'm looking for. Uh, there we go. Level 26, so we can handle that no problem. Such a cute little dung beetle kind of Pokemon. It is Relor. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so we will try first off. Maybe just bite. Eh, it's fine. Cut off guard, he couldn't move, so we could do another bite. Maybe this one will even make it flinch. Uh, not quite. So they're gonna use Rollout. That's not too surprising considering the Pokemon. 
Let's throw just a normal Pokeball now and see what this gets us. This is such a cool one though, I love it. Come on, we got it. So that's another Pokeball call for us. And a bunch of experience level 25 for Florigato. And number 254, Relor, the rolling Pokemon bug type. It rolls its mud ball around all the energy it needs to for evolution matures. Eventually, the time comes for it to evolve. Pretty cool. So, Pokemon evolution, always fun to see that. So, excited to see what that turns into, but for now, it is a Relor. I do see this over here, I just wanna snag it. There's so many collectibles popping up. Another Ultra Ball, a Cactia Needle. We have more of those Rellers coming up. But I do see a trainer off this way. We definitely want to take that one too. This is our third trainer out of five apparently, but there's a star piece. And oh my gosh, there's so much happening here. The Great Crater of Paldea. Why is the Great Crater of Paldea off limits, I wonder? Yeah, we heard about that before from the uh, director. You're charged by Gregorio the Pokemaniac. I love their vests. Lots of character in there. So they're sending out Dratini to start with, which should be part Dragon type. If we run into some issues here, we could always just switch over to uh, Bleedzel. So I might just see U-Turn to start with. That does so much, actually. So Forgato's gonna go back to us. Let's get Bleedzel out. Just like this. Got it, swap you in. But the farther we're getting into this game, the more I'm enjoying it. I, I really like the flow of the gameplay and such. Oh boy, well, we are paralyzed now, which isn't so good. I'm hoping that we could just make our way through this fight a little bit more though, as we both get buffeted by the Sandstorm. If I could just hit them with one Ice-type move, it would be enough. But they're using agility to up their speed, making it even more for us, even more difficult for us to hit them, I think. Well, that's, I guess it's more evasiveness, so. There you go, we defeated them, doesn't matter. It was super effective though, critical hit too, so. Dratini is fainted. And that was it, that's all Gregorio had. Guess if a kid can beat me, I'm better off not going anywhere dangerous. Oh no. Get a lot of money for that one though, for sure. I heard the depths of the great great crater of Paldea are defended by a super powerful guardian. Ooh, can't wait to see what that's about then. We're gonna grab a Stardust right there. We definitely need to sell that kind of stuff soon. Got another Stardust right there. Oh my gosh, so much Stardust. Another one. They're all over the place. We're gonna make some major money later. Sandstorm just won't stop though. But we've made our way to area two, the West Province, where we have a Giraffe Rig. What level are you? We're gonna find out. This is cool. Taking on the Giraffe Rig, who's level 25. This is a lot more our speed. So let's start just with a bite. I mean, I think it already might be Dark type, so I don't know if this is the best idea, but let's use bite. Oh, it's actually super effective. We're fine, we're fine. Um, so, battle again. I mean, maybe I should just try to catch you, actually. Uh, we'll try using a Great Ball. We have a good couple of them. We're coming up on a Pokemon Center if we need to refill anyways. Can we get the catch on Giraffe Rig? Yes, we can. That's a very cool one to have. All right then, so Giraffe Rig was caught. And a bunch of experience rolling in from that. We get two more level ups. All right, that's number 192, Giraffe Rig, the long neck Pokemon, a normal psychic type. Giraffe Rig's tail has a small head. It instinctively bites at any foe that approaches the Pokemon from behind. Huh, <laughs> that tail's a little creepy, isn't it? Anyways, very cool to have that normal psychic type Pokemon. I don't know why I thought it was dark. But uh, yep, there's Giraffe Rig. And we have you over here. Let me try to zoom in on you. Don Fan. Level 26, we could handle, what are those? Wait, they're Cyclozars. Can we catch a Cyclozar? We can. All right, everybody has these Cyclozars running around. I didn't know if we could catch them or not, but we can, so that's really cool. I'm a little afraid because Forgot is low on health here, so we might do the U-turn. So I don't know what typing Cyclozar is as well. They're using the U-turn. All right, um, good to know, I guess. So that didn't go so well for us, as you see, we're fainting. The game is lagging out really badly. Um, let's choose our next Pokemon. What would be good against them? If it's a bug type, then we want Flitchinder. So let's send out Flitchinder. Eventually. Take some time. But uh, let's just do Flame Charge and hope it won't be able to take down. I don't think it will because of the level lead, but they're using U-Turn again. 
which that doesn't do very much. But the fire and the bird or flying type should be strong against bug. But that's not very effective, huh? All right, then we'll just use our flying type move. But our speed rose from that. So let's use, um, I think I'll just do peck. It's not a ton of damage, but it's like Azar's gonna bite with the tail. Uh, we flinched and couldn't move. This is actually looking really not good. Why is the game going so slow though? Oh, we're seeing a new Pokemon pop up. Oh my goodness, can I move? Can I play? Uh, here we go, here we go. Peck is coming in. It's not doing anything. What is going on here? Nothing is phasing this Pokemon. Let's switch over to Fido. I know that it has a significant level lead on us. Maybe that's why. I definitely need to run off and heal, but I'm seeing new Pokemon now. I see the, the pink one back there. I see, of course, a um, Oink alone, but I also see Meowth, I think, over that way. It looks like a Meowth to me, that U-turn not very effective to us now, is it? Let's battle. Let's use Play Rough and see how much damage this does. Breaking Swipe. It doesn't affect Fido. Okay, that's good. Everything about the game is just suddenly moving so much slower. Perfect! So if we can throw a Great Ball now, we can get Cyclozar. That'd be amazing. I wonder if we can ride them in this game like everybody else does. Come on, come on. Okay, now it's, now it's catching up a little bit. Can we catch the Cyclozar? Yes, we can. Interesting catch for sure. Glad we could get it. And that's a bunch of experience for the ones that are still, you know, not fainted. Number 295 cycles are the Mount Pokemon, a dragon normal type. It can sprint at over 70 miles per hour while carrying a human. The rider's body heat warms like Lazar's back and lifts the Pokemon spirit. That is so cute. So that's really great to see. Very fast Pokemon too. And it's sent to our boxes for now. Very cool to have that though. Put that away. Number 295. So with all of that out of the way, I do see some Pokeballs to grab, but we are feeling a little rough, I think. A little worse for there were me out yeah, starting around. I want to take on, wait a minute, oh, there's the gym leader and a trainer. There's a lot going on here. So we've got a full heal. Um, and there you are. Well, let's talk to you. It's Kofu, right? You doing okay? Valtivalooza, where? Where in the world? You little flowers are getting battered by sea breeze, something fierce, but you don't care. What strong, pretty little flowers. Where, where in the world can I go to find more like you? Hehe. <laughs> oh shoot, I need to get to the down to the market. All right, uh, see ya. Seems like Kofa gets distracted pretty easily. I can relate. Uh, there was a trainer over here, and I also see new Pokemon all over the place. This is the Paldean Taurus, I think it's called. But we need to heal first. Then we'll take on these trainers. We will catch some Pokemon. It'll be great. Look at that thing. It's so cute. Um, but we'll just wait for a moment. I just need to heal first. Um, right here. Okay, so heal up just like this. And then we'll be good to head right back out there and just get back to things. I don't think I have a lot of those Pokemon caught, so it's just good for us. Uh, so. Yeah, I know you're just gonna tell me to catch Pokemon. So what about you over here? I don't think we've seen this one just yet. It doesn't look like it. So let's go for it. The Deerling. No, I have caught Deerling. All right then. I don't know why it looks different to me. Uh, we'll just battle you then. Uh, super effective U-turn. Let's use it. It's extra experience and stuff, so I don't mind. Okay, so with that done, a bunch of experience there. We could level up for two of our Pokemon. And it looks like, oh, we want to learn Spark. That could be good. Let's see what Spark does. Um, the user attacks the target with an electrically charged tackle. This may also leave the target with paralysis. 65 damage for that. This one's guaranteed paralysis. This is not, but this does less damage than Spark. So we should switch these over. And then we'll go try to catch Meowth. All right then, so, ah, hi! Okay, Tauros is fighting us, Never mind. We'll try to catch Tauros here, who's just looking for a battle, who's level 27. Let's just try Bite for now. You can see what's different about Tauros here is that it's just all like a, a, a black and like dark gray coloring. Really cool, because it's usually like a brownish. Let's try a U-turn then. I think it's just a normal type, right? So yeah, it's strong against dark. 
we'll do this. And then it's not very effective, but it gives us the opportunity to switch over to Palma, who has a fighting type, which will be a lot stronger against Tauros. I'm pretty sure. I think fighting is good against normal. Okay, let's give this a try. We got a whole collection of Pokemon cheering on the fight. We're using Scary Face to lower some of our stats, but it's just speed for now. Let's try the Arm Thrust. Does that do any damage at all? Uh oh. What is, why is this thing so strong? Nothing is budging. I thought fighting was good against normal. Critical hit there, but it's level 27. It's strong, but it's not, it maxed its attack. Oh no. Well, that hit three times. Let's go again. Well, let's just try, let's try a nuzzle for now. Paralyzing it might be a good move. Double kick is coming in. Oh my goodness, it really did max this attack. Let's run for a second and start this over, shall we? Because this is a mess. Um, run. Okay, I got away safely. I want to heal my Pokemon and try this again on my terms. You attacked me when I wasn't ready. It's not what I wanted, so. Healing? No, not the Titan Machine Machine. I know, we'll do that soon to you. But there's just so much more to do in today's episode. Um, so, I like to heal my Pokemon some time, but that's fine. And then we'll get back out there because this is a little silly. Okay, so for the Tauros, if I wanna take them on, I think my best bet then is to get Palmo out again, but paralyzed first. So let's change that position, put it here. There's a couple walking around, ready for a fight, huh? Let's just go for you. Did I catch it by surprise? I think I did. That'd be gr a great opportunity. Okay. They're using Intimidate so our attack falls. But if we battle a Nuzzle, they're using Assurance, which does not hurt us too much. It's not very effective. There's that Paralyzation, just giving us a chance to do some damage before they can do anything. Uh, yeah, nothing else here is super effective, so let's just use Spark for now. It's just so powerful. It's quite the tanky Pokemon. This double kick is still gonna do some major damage and it gets to do more than one of them. That is insane. So do we have anything that is strong against Taurus? What typing is it? I don't even know at this point. I figured it was normal type, but apparently not. So choose next Pokemon. Play rough is super effective. Disarming voice, so it is weak to fairy types. And flying, so let's get Flitchinger back out. But now we know, so that's good. I do see that Honchkrow in the distance too. But for now, we'll just pack. That's much better, but even then, it doesn't do too much. The scary face is coming back in to lower our speed. Is the acrobatics more powerful? It is. So we'll use, oh, they're gonna use double kick. It doesn't do too much though, so we're in a much better position. Use those acrobatics. Come on, that's good. This is where we can throw a Pokeball and catch Tauros. So, I'm throwing it now. It's paralyzed, it's super low on health. The chances of catching this thing are quite high, I would hope. Come on. No way! It was so close to you. So rough. It can't move because it's paralyzed. This is an excellent opportunity for us just to go again. Throw another one. Come on. No, wait, it is, is this gonna be another or best of situation where it is just undefeatable for some reason or uncatchable, really? Guess we'll have to see third time, come on. That's it, we caught the Paldean Tauros. All right, and some good experience for everybody. We get four level ups and then we're on that move headbutt. Which one? Palmo, I think? Oh no, it's uh, like alone. The user sticks out its head and attacks by charging straight into the target. This may also make the target flinch. This is a good idea to try something like this because um, basically, you know, we, we need a more normal type move. So this one is 70 damage, that one's 60. Let's put it over there. I think that'll be nice. That way, if we do need to um, use the Tarasalize with Oinkalone, we have the ability to do that, and it'll do a ton of damage. So that's some really good stuff to see. Yana, it looks like there wasn't too much more here. Oh, 
Oh, okay, yeah, we got this. The Pokedex entry number 223, Tauros, the Wild Bull Pokemon, fighting, Paldean form. So it is a fighting type. This kind of Tauros, known as a combat breed, is distinguished by its thick, powerful muscles and its fierce disposition. That's crazy. Very fierce looking Pokemon for sure. So glad to see that. And before we do too much more, I'm gonna go back again and heal my Pokemon again. I know, it's taking a while, but I think after this, we'll just focus on the on the trainer battles. Okay, so let's just focus on the trainers. We got this one right here. Can you help me? I think I can. And then there was another one back at the fork of the road. If I win, can you help me by making my deliveries in my stead? Uh, I mean, I guess if, if I get compensated for it. Joaquin the Courier. So. Rough what's coming out here. We have Palma, which is actually fantastic. Because you know it's gonna be super effective to just use um, Spark like this. There we go, a one hit takedown against Rufflet. That is what we like to see. So let's see what else we got going on. Oh, that's it. I thought they had more than one Pokemon. I guess they don't. So no delivery making for us. That's good. I knew that wouldn't work. We do get a lot of prize money though. All right, I guess this loss was the motivation I needed. Time to get back to work. So, all the way back here, there was another trainer. I definitely want to try to just take them on. It might not be everything we need for that one person back at the, uh, the Pokemon Center, but it's a start. Casseroya, Casseroya. Hey, what does Casseroya mean? That's all I can think about recently. I have no idea. I've never heard the word before this moment, so. You're challenged by Yasin the Sudan. They're sending out Sandy Yas. <laughs> so cute, but Palma might not be the best fit against it. This is probably ground. I'll try Arm Thrust. Does that do anything good? It doesn't affect Sandy Gas whatsoever. They're gonna use Sand Team, which is really not good for Palma. So I'll just switch out Palma now while we have the chance. I think over to Bleasel. Oh no. Palma was hurt by Sand Team again. So yep, let's switch Pokemon. Over to Weasel. That Pokemon can't be switched, why not? Is that just something that happens with this? Oh, that's really not good. Cause all I have besides that is, you know, Spark and Nuzzle. So I don't think this will affect them at all either. That's just really bad luck. You know, just that's the Pokemon we got matched up with here. Uh, all right, well, I just, we just sort of have to wait to get taken out then. That's so silly. Both of our moves is, you know, don't do anything against you. That's so why it's always good, I guess, to have like a little pocket move, you never know. We're holding on tight, good job, Palma, it's just not enough. So, now we'll switch over to Bleasel, and it should be no problem, right? It was just so silly to start with. Okay, swap in Bleasel, we'll do um, the water jet, that'll be great, I might even confuse them a little bit. So battle, Water Pulse or Aqua Jet, which one was it? This is 60, this is 40. Okay, Water Pulse, for sure. Nice, one hit take down. That's what we're looking for. Okay, Cycles are scared me. And, Yasin the is about to send out Masquarian. I don't know what kind of Pokemon that is. I think I wanna have Forgato out. Maybe? We'll see. All right, here it comes, Forgato. And Masquerian. Masquerain. Okay, it is some kind of bug type. Intimidate makes makes our attack fall. Let's just try for right now, let's just try Bite. It's okay. Soak. I don't think that affect this too much. Forgato transformed into a water type? Uh, good to know. Does that mean that Seed Bomb would do a lot of damage? Is that, that's not very effective. So I think the Grass or Bug type, the Air Cutter isn't too bad. Uh, let's just do U-Turn. Not gonna do a lot of damage, but it gives the ability for us to switch out. And I think we go into Fletchinder. So far, Masquerain is scary Pokemon. All right, swap, in, swap into this. Come on, Fletchinder, you got it. We're using Gust to start things up, and that does a little bit of damage, but we're not too worried about it. We'll just try Flame Charge. Ooh, that's it. All right, you're done, you're finished. Critical hit, 
So that's two trainers on this pathway done. Now I think we start to focus back on making our way over to Kofu. But there we go, a little bit of experience for everybody. Level 26 for Fletchender. Wait, I know, maybe it's a Royal Casserole? Maybe. All right, let's talk to you a little bit more. Um, by the way, Castle Royal Lake is to the north, but you won't get very far if you can't swim. Well, I don't think currently we do have the ability to, so we'll figure it out later. I know there's new Pokemon around, but I really, really need to heal for Pokemon and just move forward with what our current mission is, which is to the left there. So let's get that done. All right then, so we're back out to our adventure here. Whoa, it's a Grimer, there's so many cool Pokemon. I wanna catch more. Rotom seems like an uncommon one. Maybe I should go for that really quickly then. I mean, obviously we have Rotom on our phone, but look at you here. Uh, wait, is it, it's Ditto! Whoa, all right, that's cool. What can we do here? First, we're gonna nuzzle it so it's paralyzed. That way it'll be much harder for it to, you know, fight us actually capturing it. I don't know if I've really run into Ditto in the last couple of Pokemon games. Oh, now it's turned into us, Palmo. This is so cool. All right, let's nuzzle it again. Oh, I probably should've just used a normal spark, but it's not paralyzed now. I don't think. It's gonna use charge against us, but obviously that won't do too much. Again, charging power. Special defense rose. So I could try just using an arm thrust. We're just trying to lower you enough. This is so cool. So if you don't know, Ditto can transform into other Pokemon. Okay, if we leave it there, that'd be perfect. Three times is our hit. So unfortunately, we don't catch a Rotom for this, but it, it's charging up again. Come on, come on, we are going to throw out a, a great ball or whatever it is, yeah, great ball as soon as we can. Ah, oh, not quite. It broke th free this time, but using the nuzzle, not very effective, it's not gonna paralyze us. Let's go for another. I definitely wanna catch it out. Will this be the time? Not quite, it's gonna be a tough one for sure. Maybe I'll try one of the Ultra Balls? I already have a couple of them and that is getting us a lot lower. So, let's try an Ultra Ball really quickly. I could get its health a little bit lower, but I just, I don't wanna risk it too much. Come on. Ah, darn, that is ridiculous. So while they're using Spark, oh geez, come on. We are going to try, I think, a Nuzzle, just to lower it a little bit more, that's all I need. But it gets to attack twice, get out of here. All right, so Palmo's gonna faint from that. What can we do instead? We can get, um, choose next Pokemon. We wanna get Forgato out here. So I don't think electricity isn't very effective against grass, so this would be a great situation. I throw out just another Great Ball now, because I do not wanna risk getting rid of this thing. Because I don't know how many Ditto will run into. You don't just see the Dittos running around. They, they're hiding as other Pokemon. Come on. No, I thought that was it. I really did. Come on, it's gonna nuzzle us. It's using our own moves against us. Oh my goodness. Come on. Ready, throw another one. We're running out of great balls here. Come on. Ah, oh, jeez, this is ridiculous. And I don't have really any other type effects that can apply to this besides paralyze. So this is really my best chance. Uh, I do have things like the net ball, the nest ball. I check the details on this one. I lower the level, so that's not gonna be too helpful for me right now. I could try one last ultra ball here. I don't wanna use too many of these here, because you know, I don't have a ton, but oh, I really want this ditto. Come on. Yes, I, I think we got a critical throw. That was amazing. We got the ditto. All right then, so that's a bunch more experience rolling in. Level 25 for Fido. We get the palmy fur and everything. So number 212, Ditto, the transformed Pokemon has been registered, it is a normal type. It can freely recombine its own cellular structure to transform into other life forms. It is sort of a freaky Pokemon, but a really, really cool one. So we will just keep that there for now. <laughs> so cute. Oh man, cool to have a Ditto on our team. And you can see there's more Pokemon running around, but we are already feeling pretty beat up and I have to go focus on trying to find Kofu, so. Hello, welcome. This is Porto Marinata. Our famed market is always bustling. All right, so yeah, we're by the ocean now after going through that huge desert. There's still so much more to find here, so. Uh, let's enjoy the, the town though, for sure. Bursting with life around here, isn't it? Definitely. 
So where exactly do I have to go? I think, yeah, right over that way. But maybe I should heal up first? I don't see a Pokemon Center around here, do I? Uh, yeah, I don't see any around at all. Is there not any in town? Maybe I, you know what, maybe I'll fly back to this really quickly and heal, and then we'll go back to do that. <laughs> Weird, I figured there'd be one in town. Okay, we're all healed up. Let's see what Kofu is up, he up to here in the market. Looks like they're talking to someone. They've been quite the elusive gym trainer so far. Vault and Veluza, where, where in the world? Where in the world is my wallet? Without my wallet, I won't be able to get today's hot item. It'll get bought up by someone else. <laughs> Don't worry, old man Kofu. I'll run and look for it right now. Hold on, I have it. What do you want? Old man Kofu's in the middle of some super duper important ingredient buy-in. If you're thinking about trying to interrupt him, then I, his best apprentice, will have to stop you. So you have something super important to say to us busy folks or what? Uh, this is super important. Super important, eh? We'll see about that. Maybe a battle will shut your mouth. All right, well, I have his wallet. <laughs> You're challenged by gym trainer Hugo. All right, well, let's see what Hugo has for us. They're sending out Floatzel to start things off, which we can handle no problem with our Palmo. So, first thing we're gonna do is just hit him with a full power spark. Oh, they're, they're hitting us with the Aqua Jet, which actually is quite painful. Uh-oh, what level are this, these Pokemon? Ooh, and they're paralyzed, that's nice. Okay, come on. I'm a little nervous here, but it's level 28. We can maybe handle it if we can attack first. We're gonna use the Aqua Jet again, so that might be it for Palmo. Unfortunate, for sure, but it is what it is. We'll just keep moving forward, and I guess just move over to Florigato. Obviously, the Seed Bomb will do more damage, so that's nice. Battle and Seed Bomb. That should be enough to get rid of Floatzel, very nice, super effective again. And that's a bunch of experience. I wish that Palmo could have gotten some of that, but we do jump up a couple levels, and I did not get to see what they're throwing out. Clauncher, what is Clauncher? I think I know. Yeah, yeah, this one. Okay, so I don't know how this is gonna go. Seed Bomb, we'll just throw out a Seed Bomb and see how much damage it does. Is this just purely a water type? It is, so it's super effective, one hit takedown. We're good to go. That's Hugo defeated. Awesome. All right, what do you have to say about that, Hugo? Shucks, I let old man Kofu down. And we arrived at our destination. Very useful. Oh, and our Buizel's evolving! Finally, so we just saw a Floatzel in that battle. And as a reward, we'll get our own. So from Floatzel, or Buizel to Floatzel, very nice. And as you can see, number 52, Floatzel, the sea weasel Pokemon, still a water type. It is a common sight around fishing ports. It is known to rescue people and help fishers carry what they caught. Very nice, very cute. Oh, that was such a cute picture too. So another one for the Pokedex. But more than that, we're back to Hugo. Dang it, that backfired. And now my wallet's empty too. Hey, yeah, step right up and tell me, what's all the rook is about over here? Oh, old man Kofu, seems this kid's got something to say to ya. What's that now, a customer here for a little old walletless, moneyless me? What can I do for ya? I have your wallet. Here you go. Return Kofu's wallet to him. Vault of Alusa, my wallet. So what now, my lobby staffer sent you out here to bring it to me? <laughs> That's a huge help, thanks for coming all this way. Guess I should apologize for my little apprentice too. Hope he didn't bother you too much. There's something here at the Porto Marinata auction that we really want to get our hands on. So as you can imagine, we were both a bit worked up to find I'd got, f forgotten my wallet. Ladies and gents, you won't want to miss this. Here comes today's last item. Hmm? So what is this then? Feast your eyes on the main event. I have here legendary Wakame seaweed of the Hoenn region. Do I have any takers? Vaulted for loser. I don't even have to touch it. I can see I just got the springy texture of seaweed chalk full of nutrients. And just look at it. Look at how it catches the light and shine so brilliantly. Oh, that rich, fresh aroma of something plucked straight out of the ocean. 
I need to get me some of that. Now listen, kid, if you wanna challenge me at the Kaskarafa gym, you're gonna need some smarts. And this is the perfect place to test you. Get the winning bid on that seaweed for this old man. What's winning bid? Well, you see, here at the auction, you gotta compete with other customers for goods. You gotta be aware of how much money you have, of course, but the person who bids the highest price gets to buy whatever's on sale. There you are, fighting funds for the auction. Be smart with it, and win this old man that seaweed. All right, I'll try 50,000, wow, okay. Definitely making our pockets a bit heavier. Gym test, make the winning bid at the auction. Uh, I'll try. Hoenn's legendary Wakame seaweed. We'll start the bid in at 10,000. Uh, so I guess I'll bid 10,000. I hear a bid for 10,000, do I hear more? We're currently at 10,000. Somebody's going in with 15, 15, 25, 25. And we have 25,000, we're at 25,000, do I hear more? Uh, I'll go uh, 30,000, 30,000, yeah, there we go. 30,000 to us on the left over here. What a big spender. 40,000, 40,000, now we gotta scare them off, we're gonna get something big. Let's get 50,000 in there. If we have any more, it's gonna be our own dime. What in the world? Soul, it's over 50,000 to the little gentleman over there. Wow, okay. <laughs> we got it. Exactly what he gave us. That was amazing. You put those grown up bidders to shame with your bid skills. Thank you for wanting that seaweed for this old man. I'll be taking it now if you don't mind. All right, so we hand them the legendary Wakame seaweed to Kofu. This seaweed's a great catch. I'd be feeling low as a seabed if I'd failed to get my hands on it. If there's any of that money I gave you left, feel free to keep it as a tip. Oh no, I spent every penny. <laughs> you can even use it to try your hand at the auction again if you like. All righty, I'ma head back to the Kaskarafa gym now. Old man Kofu's gonna prepare a real good battle for you. See you there. That was interesting. Okay, so yeah, that was fun. Gym test, make the winning bid at the auction. We passed. That's awesome for sure, but we'll have to come back here, maybe bid an auction a little bit more later, but we got some prize money, now we gotta report back to the gym staff. We're all the way back over here. So. Cast Graph a gym, face the gym leader. Report back to the gym lobby about your success so you can take on the gym leader Kofu in battle. We'll do that. The best way to get that done, of course, is going to be going back here, healing up, and taking a look at everything. So let's get going. Okay, so we're finally back here at the gym. We can take on our second gym leader, I hope. If there's more tests we gotta complete, I'm gonna be really surprised, but you never know, so just be on our guard. But we're finally in here now. Oh, look, it's Nimona. Via Zebra? It's so wild that we ended up randomly visiting the same gym at the same time, again. What a weird coincidence. I swear I'm not just sneaking ahead of you so I can lie and wait and go, oh wow, weird. Might as well battle now that you're here. No, seriously, look, to prove it, I won't even challenge you to a battle this time. Much as I'd like to. But look at you and your Pokemon. They've definitely gotten stronger since last time. And, and add these to the mix, and you'll be 100% set to go, no problem. Contain three ethers, nice, so those are useful. I'll be cheering for you. I'll go train like maybe 20 Pokemon or so while you tackle the gym. All right, well, Nimona's busy at work with all of that. It looks like a lot of people are talking about the gym here. Uh, so let's, okay, I'm talking to Golduck right now. I wanted to talk to you. That gym test, Kofu's gym test was an ultra ball level challenge, let me tell you. Anybody else over here? Oh, Psyduck. You can never tell what's troubling someone just by looking at them, you know? In Psyduck's case, though, I think it's safe to say that headaches are the problem. Poor thing. All right, then, so we have Palma out front. I think that's still good. And since we've been sort of struggling a little bit with Palma getting taken out, I do sort of want to go to our bag. And there's a couple of things. First off, we have the Heladine. We haven't actually given them to, the, given to them yet, which should be where? These are TMs. Here's our experience candy, I wanna do that soon, but first the magnet right over here. We can give that to Palmo, and that'll boost our electric type moves. Wait, what happened? Use this, or give it to an item, That's or give it to a Pokemon, that's what I need. There you go. And then clear amulet, of course, this is going to protect the holder from having its stats lowered by moves used against it or by other Pokemon's abilities. I think for right now, we'll just put that on um, Forogato. Rock type moves, we don't even have a Pokemon with rock type moves. So I think that's all we can really do here. Ground type moves, we could, I guess, give this to, uh, to um, Link alone, just because where else, you know? Uh, and then these feathers. 
Increases the base points of a speed stat. That could be good. So these increase stats. Might as well just give these while we're waiting for other types of uh, items then. The muscle feather attack stat. Let's give that to um, Floitzel. And then the health feather. Perfect enough. We'll give that to Fido. So we have this experience candy here. And I don't have a ton of it. But if I could just get um, Palmo up a couple of levels. Let's, let's use five of them. That's 500 experience. It's still not enough for a level up. So we'll just try another one there. Uh, how about this one? Oh, that helps out a ton. That'll be level up to level 24. Okay, good enough. I just want an extra little bit of an edge, you know? But let's try this out. Zebra, I heard you reunited Kofu with his wallet. I did. I can't thank you enough. Though this is a little irregular, please consider your gym test passed. I'm glad. Are you ready to challenge gym leader Kofu, the surging chef? I am. Very well, allow me to show you to the battle court. So here we are, the big battle court in the center. We were here earlier today, but we're back and we're ready to battle Kofu. Here he comes. Old man Kofu, play with us, come on. I would be honored if you would try a new item from my restaurant's menu as well. Sorry, everybody. I've got some business to take care of as gym leader re real quick. I'm keeping someone waiting, you see. Please forgive me, I need to do this first. Okay. Seems like Kofu's quite the celebrity around here. Hey, uh, step right up. I've been waiting for you. Thanks for the help over in Porto Marinata. You did a mighty fine job. And now that I've got that legendary seaweed, I can make some real quality dishes with it. But don't expect me to go easy on you in your battle here. All right. At the auction, we battle in with buying and selling. At my gym, we battle in a more traditional sense. Moves and tactics, ever changing as the raging sea. I'ma serve you a full course of water type Pokemon. Don't try to eat them though. All right, <laughs> we'll give it a go. Can we beat the water gym leader? Oh man, you are challenged by gym leader Kofu. And they are sending out Veluza to start things. We've been talking about Veluza this whole time, it makes sense. So, Palmo, I hope you can handle it. I feel a bit indebted to you, but don't expect me to go easy on you just cause of that. Oh, I don't. They have Mold Breaker. Breaking that mold does something, I'm not quite sure. But we are just gonna start with a, I think a charge might be best, but they're level 29, oh my goodness. All right, let's just try Spark then. They are gonna start first with an Aqua Cutter and that does a one hit, oh my goodness. That's exactly what I was worried about with them being too low level. Uh-oh. <laughs> let's try Floatzel then. I'm not sure if our Pokemon are high enough level to handle this gym leader battle, but we are going to keep trying until we get it, that is for sure. Not Floatzel, why did I throw out Floats? I don't know, but we'll just try Bite. I mean, if not anything else, we'll be defensive against you. You won't do too much damage to us. And this is super effective. Interesting, so I don't know what typing they are. Guess we can't really worry about it too much right now. Gonna bite you again. Make the most out of that. So if we do have to fight them again, if for whatever reason things fall apart here, we'll know that we have an advantage by just using Bite against them. Got it. Super effective with that too. So let's see what we have to tackle after that. But Veluza is down. And that's some experience coming in. Unfortunately, none for Palma, which we really need. But, uh, Wug Trio. Is this like Doug Trio? Uh, if that's the case, maybe we should keep with Floatzel. What is, what is this thing? All right, um, Water Pulse? Might as well try it. They're gonna start with Headbutt though, and that's gonna knock out Floatzel almost all the way. The Water Pulse though, it's not very effective. So whatever this thing is, um, we might just wanna switch. Let's try Fido for now. I'm trying to think about what typing this is. Is it Fire type? Well, no, it would be fire type. Um, I mean, it's red, right? So it's like it sort of looks like it, but if water isn't very strong against it. Having a hard time imagining. Let's just try play rough for now. As they use their own water plus. Is it its own water type? I don't know. But it's doing some major numbers to us at the moment. That was pretty good though. Um, but it's gooey, so our speed fell. Um, let's go to our bag and heal it up really quickly. We have our super potion. We'll use that on Fido. 
but they will be able to attack twice, so this has to be able to help us survive two full hits. I don't know if it'll do that, I'm a little nervous, but I guess we'll see in just a moment as the Water Pulse comes back in, and that did 30 damage exactly. So, um, here's a big toss up on it, whether we'll survive this fight or not. Water Pulse, come on. Oh, it's at one HP, come on, Fido, you got it. Play rough again, and that's one trio taken down. And our speed will fall from that, but this is our chance, like, you know, with Fido just up with one health, we can use an item in its stead. That's more experience, level 26 for some of them, but there's a bunch of stuff there. The Baton Pass for Fido, what is this then? Let's go check it out. It's a normal type move. The user switches places with the party Pokemon and waiting and passes along any stat changes. That doesn't sound very useful. Uh, worry Seed, what is Worry Seed? And that is for uh, Forogato. A seed that causes worry is planted on the target. It prevents sleep by making the target's ability insomnia. Huh. Interesting. Um, I guess it'd be good against a Snorlax. What could I put that on? I have not used Hone Calls a single time since I got it, so I think we're just gonna swap that over. All right, so Worry Seed. And Crabominable. We will keep our current Pokemon, I think, just so we can use this, I mean, let's switch for now. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We still have a full health for Agato, for Crabominable, which will almost guarantee be a water type. But I'm not quite entirely sure. So far, it's had they've had two new Pokemon that we've never seen. The tides ebb and flow. It's time for a raging tidal surge. Here comes Crabominable. Whoa! Is it Grass Ice type? Let's try Seed Bomb. Prepare the rigging for a big transformation. My Pokemon's gonna rock the boat. Oh my gosh. Here comes that Terrastalize. I just don't know what's strong against this yet. It might be, you know, better to get Fletchling or something out here with it being probably a Water Ice type. I'm not sure. Oh my goodness, but it looks amazing. I think that's Water type Terrastalization now. And if that's the case, we just need to Terrastalize as well. We're gonna use Seed Bomb for now, and that is super effective for sure. All right, critical hit two, great job for Regato. Here comes a slam though, and that is definitely a painful one, but this is where we bring the same energy they've brought to the table. This is quite the bid, but I think it'll turn out in our favor. Terrastalize Seed Bomb is coming in. So what do you wager we win this one? Okay, let's give it a try. Ooh, looks so good. Here comes that seed bomb. I think that'll be enough. If the first one was any indication. There we go, Crabominable defeated, and I'm pretty sure that was their last Pokemon. Awesome. So there we go, we did it. We defeated the gym leader, Kofu. I mean, lots of love loves for it too. Ball Volt and Veluza. You're a lively one, aren't you? A little too lively if I do say so myself. We get over 5,000 for prize money in that one. That's fantastic. So there we go, our second gym leader defeated, and Fido is going to evolve. What a celebration. So what will Fido turn into? Very curious about this. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Congratulations, your Fido evolved into the Dash Fun. Right, a dox, it's usually dox hun, dox hound. I don't know how to pronounce the dog's name, so it's obviously a pun on that, but dox bun, number 77, the dog Pokemon, a fairy type. The surface of this Pokemon's skin hardens when exposed to intense heat, and this body has an appetizing aroma. Wow, it is adorable though, I'm so glad to have it. So a lot of our Pokemon are evolving, that's fantastic. <laughs> a loss as refreshing as the air at the morning market. I'm just like a helpless little Magikarp to you, huh? Flopping around all willy-nilly. You got me good, I tell ya. What a great catch you are. Just like a master fisher, you held on till the, tight till the last second and reeled in victory. Now it's time to hand over a gym badge to ya. And let's get a real good photo together using a pose I've been wanting to try out for a while now. Sure. <laughs> Cascarapa Jim defeated on Victory Road. That is a very goofy pose, I like it. With two gym badges in your possession, Pokemon of up to level 30 will be easier to catch and, and listen to you when you ask them to do things. 
Let me throw this in too as an extra special bonus. I'm sure you can make good use of it. We got TM022, chilling water. Interesting. The user attacks the target by showering it with water that's so cold it saps the target's power. This also lowers the target's attack stat. Alrighty, it's about time I headed on back to my restaurant and got to prepping for the next wave. You come back to see me again now, you hear? I would love to. Pardon me, would you be the zebra I've been hearing so much about? Oh, hello. Nimona had mentioned there was a promising new face in the academy. Yes, indeed. Oh, but I do apologize. I didn't mean to startle you by addressing you so suddenly. My name is Hassel. I'm one of the Elite Four of the Pokemon League. I also teach art classes at the academy. So, do tell me, young zebra, what compels you to collect these gym badges and strive to be the champion? Uh, for fun, I guess. Asked and answered, thank you. Naturally, there is no single correct answer. All paths lead to the great creator of Paldea, as they say. You know, your friend Amona is the youngest to achieve champion rank in all of Paldean history. It is entirely possible that such great potential lies within you as well. Well, thank you for the compliment. Should you continue striving to, each, to reach champion rank, you will one day have to battle me. You would be wise to train hard starting now. It will save you from experiencing the bitter regret of defeat. Oh, and do come along to my art class sometime. I'd be thrilled to have you attend. That does sound like fun, but for right now, I wanna go talk to you and see if there's anything more we can see. Congratulations, you're now certified by the Kaskarafa Gym. I guess not, but that was so cool. I'm glad that we got to defeat another gym leader. It was quite a lot of work, but well worth the effort. We did so much in today's episode, and there was even more we could do. I know I had to pass up on a couple of Pokemon that hopefully we'll run into more in the future. I'm sorry, it's just always so much time of the day, right? So let's get back to healing, I think, is our next thing. We're gonna go heal up our Pokemon and then go, uh, what's it called? Uh, can we jump off here? We can't. But we're, we're gonna find out what we need to do next. Hopefully soon though, we can take on some of the, ta the classes at the school. That is something I wanna see. I don't know how involved that process is. That'll just take a few moments or will it be a whole episode. We'll have to wait and see. And then there's things like, you know, more uh, terror raids, finding and catching more Pokemon, trainers, and uh, of course the Titan Pokemon, which we haven't even started yet. So I'm hoping it'll tell us to go do a Titan Pokemon because I think no matter what, that's what I wanna try. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. So up and about, are you here to rest your tired Pokemon? Yes, I am. So we'll heal them first. Get everybody feeling good. I love the new Nox bun, but uh, with that done, maybe it's Dash bun? I'm really not sure, I'm sorry, but I'll look it up between episodes. Uh, let's see what they're gonna say about where we go next. I don't know where to go. Right, let's see. If I had to recommend an next destination for you, I'd say make for the lair of the ground type Titan. You, do you dare seek out the Pokemon that has been called the Quaking Earth Titan? I'll go ahead and mark the spot in your map app for you. All right, you're all set. Go out there and have an adventure. We'll be here when you need us. Very cool. So our Terra Orb is charged and ready for a whole new adventure. It's gonna be great. I can't wait to go see what that'll be. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.